Okay, here's a Deep and Hawk Follies little video. Uh, pardon the background noise, I got the propane heater going because it's only 26 degrees out. But it's actually 39 in the shop, and I just came out here, it's about 7 a.m., so I figured I'd play around here a little bit. You can kind of see the project that I got going this morning. Here's some of the goodies that I picked up at Second Chance Race Parts. Got a nice pair of nitrogen cylinders that have real nice rod ends on it. I'm going to use those to hold the trunk lid up. I also got a deal on some SFI spec, 45.1 uh, spec uh, roll bar uh, padding for around the helmet area that's a requirement, so we got that on there. But anyways, one of the things that I picked up uh, over at Second Chance Parts when I went there was a... Uh, what they call an arbor that's used on the crankshaft. They use that a lot to drive the uh, oil pumps or the dry sump and uh, or power steering or vacuum pumps or alternators. I also picked up this uh, really nice little little alternator. Really cute little Bosch alternator. It's a really nice setup on it. It is a single wire integral regulator. It's got a nice ground strap on it. It's uh, 14.5 uh, volts at uh, 140 amps. It's got a little small pulley on it. It's got a little problem with the one pulley because it's got a little dent on it. I think I can take this. I think that's probably why they changed it. Somebody probably dropped it. But that's a, that's one of the things that's going to go on. Now in this process of putting this all together, uh, I, last video I talked about it a little bit. There's a little notch that's on this that sets into the sets into the notch on the super damper. So, I set that notch on there, uh, I did that, and then I machined this groove in here so that this pulley would set on here and register in that groove so everything is nice and straight. Now, when you go to put this spindle on, you can use the same three holes for the same bolts that hold everything together so you can stack it all up. And as you can see, this sticks out quite a bit. Now, I could take a, a different pulley. Now, you can see there's two holes in here. And there's two pins on here, so they call this a pin drive setup. It's a one-inch arbor, so I can put that on to drive the alternator, or I can put a different size on. There's also an adapter. It's like a spacer that you slide this down and it engages the pins, and you can stack the next one right up on top of them. So you can build up a stack and drive three or four things. But one of the things that I really thought was interesting and wanted to play with was looking at number one, the outside edge here, and looking at this hollow spot that is in the back of the pulley itself, that means that there's a void inside there. And when I was looking at it, I said, you know, wouldn't it be nice if we could slide this in here? So I chucked it up in the lathe, and I only had a machine about a sixty-fourth of an inch off of there for that to set in there. And I said, that would be nice, because then I could put this in from the back side. The problem was that it had a, it had a radius on here, so what I did is I put it in the lathe and I machined that so that the size of this, this diameter right here is the same as the diameter right here. So when you put this in, it now indexes off of the center of the hub. So when you put this all together, this is now sand, the, the arbor is now sandwiched in between the pulley and the hub. It does reduce the install height a little bit, but it keeps everything tight as far as being indexed. So there is no there's no ability for this thing to get a little bit out and have some kind of a harmonic set. And by the same token, if you look at this these pin drives, this one goes all the way down and it gauges. But then if you look at this one, it's got the pins on it, but it's got a small diameter, so it fits on the end. So I can drive this right off the end, and the inside edge of this is even with the inside edge of that. I also could use this as, not really even use it as a pulley, but use it as a hub adapter so that I could center this, drill and tap into this, not use this as a pulley, but use this smaller three groove which matches the alternator and set all of this on here and then drive that pulley that way. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to being able to do that. I'll probably machine that up today. So I, I would turn this off of here and then counter drill the four holes on it 
then this whole thing can just drop right on there and be used. So that's that's the process for this morning. I'm having a lot of fun playing out here. Even though it's cold, it's warming up. Uh, I'll have this up to 50 degrees in about an hour, so I don't have to use too much propane. But talk to you a little later. Have a good one. Thanks. Bye.